Hey y'all, let's look at our NCLEX question of the day. Our question today says, the nurse is observing a staff member caring for a client with dysphagia who is prescribed honey thickened liquids. The nurse should intervene if a staff member is observed doing what? So for our clients with dysphagia, we are at increased risk for aspiration because we're not able to swallow properly. So we wanna give them honey thickened liquids uh, versus thin liquids because it slows the speed at which liquid um, can be swallowed, which makes it safer. So let's look at option one, which says uh, checking the client's mouth for pockets of food. This is an incorrect option because it's something we want to do. We want to make sure there's no lingering food in the cheeks that could be, um, you know, that it could increase the risk for aspiration uh, later once we're finished with our meal, right? Option two says encouraging the client to cough after swallowing. Uh, again, this is something that we wanna do, so it's an incorrect option. Coughing helps just kind of clear our throat of any like lingering food, which will decrease the risk for aspiration. And then option three says placing the client in high fowler position before meals. Uh, incorrect option, because we wanna do it. We always wanna sit our clients up uh, before they eat. And then option four, it says offering sips of water with a straw between bites of food. Uh, this is going to be our correct option because we don't want to do this. Water is a thin liquid, which will increase the risk for aspiration. And then using a straw um, just kind of impairs our ability to swallow properly, which will again, increase the risk for aspiration. Um, and we definitely wanna avoid that with clients with dysphagia.